my. I, I hope you're all right. Please don't tell me I'm too late. Mm. To be honest, they looked kind of like... But way older than I imagined. Oh, <laughs> you're finally awake. Welcome to Lavender Lake. Well, what's the matter? Is there something weird on my face? You act like you just saw a ghost. It's nothing? Well, if you say so. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emma. And as you can see, I'm a mermaid. You're not dead nor dreaming, no. I, I just saved you. Hey. Don't you think it's a bit rude to deny my existence after I saved your butt? Yeah, I know, I know. It's hard to believe we exist. Trust me, I do. We are pretty well hidden after all. Some of us don't like your kind. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. I found you while swimming near the lakeside. Or else you'll find your corpse on our plate. Of course we eat humans. <laughs> well, I don't eat humans for specific reasons. But other than that, some of us like human meat very much. Have you ever heard those stories of mermaids luring sailors? Those are not myths. They're real. But enough of the man-eating topic. Let's talk about you. What? Why are you here in the first place? If I remember correctly, Lavender Lake isn't a very pleasant place to visit. Especially at night. Complicated? Oh, I see. Sorry if that's too private. I know life can be stressful up there. What? wait. Are you planning to end your life? Please tell me you're not. You're not? Well, that's a relief. Never do that in your life, okay? Wait, what? You, you tripped over a rock? You poor unfortunate soul. Are you stupid or something? Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make fun of you. <laughs> it's too hilarious. And sounds like something an old friend of mine would do. Yeah, they are very sweet. But naive in some ways. They are a great companion of mine. Well, after some incident, we lost contact. And I, I still miss them very much. Th thank you. I know. I know they are. Somewhere. They are very strong. I'm like, well, that's enough about them. You can't thank me for saving you, though. Just saying. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Now, there's something we need to talk about, though. You see, you know our secrets, and that might be a big problem for us. We, we don't prefer revealing our secrets just to save some human. Like I said, some of us like your meat very much, since I'm not one of them. I'll give you two choices. One is, you get your memory wiped, and we send you back to where you belong. You don't want your memory wiped? Yes, oh, um, I mean, I can relate. If I have a chance to meet an actual mythical being, I wouldn't want my memory wiped, but I'm very sorry. This, this is how things work here. And I, I don't have a saying against it. What? What? 
What do you mean it's not about mermaids? It's about me? <laughs> you don't want your memory wiped? Well, <laughs> I'm flattered. No one really said that kind of stuff to me. For quite some time, that is. There is another option, though. I... I can turn you into a merfolk, too. It's shocking, I know, but... Yeah. Humans can turn into merfolks. It's pretty easy, actually. Will you... Wait. <laughs> why, why are you hugging me? What? H how, how do you know that name? That's the name I used when... When I was a human. Hey, <laughs> please don't tell me that you're... <laughs> oh my goodness, it's really you? I'm so happy to see you again. I've missed you so much. No wonder you look so familiar, but... Why are you so old? It's been three years already? Oh my. We mermaids process time differently than you do. Plus, we lived way longer than you guys. For me, it only felt like a few months. I can't believe how much older you have become. Um, I'm so happy to see you again. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that I've left you behind. Life is just too much for me at the time. Please forgive me for my selfish acts. Thank you. Thank, thank you for not blaming me. We are supposed to fight side by side, but I'm, I'm too nervous to talk to you. I'm afraid that you will also neglect me. Just like my parents, my teachers, and my classmates. Please don't apologize. It, it is my problem that you didn't realize how bad the situation is. It's me that keeps hiding those feelings around you. I've lost so much and I can't afford to lose you. I'm so sorry for leaving you behind. We, we only have each other, but I'm so selfish that... Okay, okay, I'll stop talking bad about me. Thank you for supporting me all these years. You, you, you love me? I always loved you, but I'm too afraid to say that. I love hanging out with you and I thought that's enough, but it wasn't. I wanted our relationship to reach a more intimate level, but you are the only one left in my life. I, I can't lose you. That's why I... No, no, none of it really matters now. Today's the best day of my life. <laughs> that means you're not leaving this place no matter what. You're stuck with me. For eternity. Does that sound possessive enough? I hope it did, because... You are... <laughs> not a very good kisser, to be honest. You're also new to this, aren't you? It's okay, I mean... We are both amateurs, so... We can practice more later. We have a bigger fish to fry now. You are not a merfolk yet, dummy. You forgot already? <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> it feels like old times. You and your forgetful brain causing shenanigans. Um... Let's get back to the topic. Hey, don't don't get nervous. I promise it will be better than our past life. Life here is leisure, to say the least. Yeah, we may not have televisions or video games, but I swear the advantages outweighs way more than the disadvantages. After becoming a mermaid, I finally realized how meaningless life on the land can be. 
we live way much longer. We don't fight for territories and we don't really fight for food. Well, like I said, you aren't going away. There's there's no way you can leave this place without me carrying you. So are you are you ready? Okay. Take a deep breath for me. Things might go wrong if you're not careful. Have you ever heard of the Japanese legend of Yaobikuni? It says that when she was a teenager, she accidentally ate mermaid meat that her fisherman father brought home. This granted her eternal life. It's a sad story if you think about it, watching all your loved ones pass away. But this time is different. We have each other and the Marfolk community. Here, take a bite of my arm. Just a nibble. A nibble is enough for the transformation. <laughs> Don't worry. It regenerates faster than you imagine. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm fine. Now, drink my blood. That shall complete the ritual. Oh wow. That, that is way more painful than I thought. It will take some time for the effect to start kicking in. For the time being, why don't we talk about your life recently? We have so much to catch up. So, how's life? It probably sucks if you came here. I guess this is the last place you would want to go since it's kind of like my grave. Life is too hard without me. Yeah, we did spend too much time together and it's hard when we are separated. I guess you came here to commemorate me, right? I think it's truly fate. The only reason I'm swimming near the lakeside is because I am also thinking about you. We are destined to be together, as humans or as more folks. Life on land might be stressful and painful, but worry no more, my love. This is just the beginning of our life, and we are finally together forever.